let's talk about alcohol lamps. For those of you who are planning on doing a lot of wax work buildup, the Bic Ladder is not going to be sufficient. You're going to have to do a little bit more hot work. Um, alcohol lamps are a great way to go. So this is an alcohol lamp. It's got a glass jar that's going to hold your denatured alcohol. You can pick up your denatured alcohol at uh, generally any hardware store. Um, and you don't want to use isopropyl, it won't burn away. But we have wick here. This is going to draw all of the alcohol up to the tip of our alcohol lamp. And then generally they come with this little knob. And that allows you to adjust on the fly. Some of them are cheaper and they won't have the knob. You'll have to actually grab the wick. And so that's a problem if um, the stem here has gotten hot and you've been burning for a while. But otherwise, uh, that's pretty simple, right? A wick to draw up the alcohol. It burns out here. It's, uh, the reservoir is contained in the jar itself, and then you just have a little knob that allows you to adjust the height of your wick. So we're just going to add our denatured alcohol. You could use pure ethanol, but why waste pure ethanol when you can use denatured alcohol? It's cheap, it's effective, it's readily available. And when you're pouring it into the jar, you just really want to commit to it. Don't, don't half pour. And you don't need to fill the jar all the way full. Occasionally what will happen is you'll knock the jar over and if the alcohol leaks out, it can spill everywhere and create a small surface flame on whatever you're working on. So just imagine the whole table is on fire and that pots out really easily, but you don't want that to happen. So you don't just screw this on and call it done. What I generally do is I try to soak the wick okay? because the wick is drawing up the alcohol through capillary action. So I'll do two things, right? I'll soak the tail of the wick and then I'll pull it most of the way through. And I like to keep a long wick in here. And then I'll invert it and I'll swirl it around so that the tip of the wick also has alcohol soaking it. And then from there, you're ready to go, right? You've got this thing fully soaked. It's ready to burst into flames. Um, just remember that if you have shiny spots on your hand, that's alcohol, which means you are temporarily flammable. And the other thing is if you feel your hands are cold, right? If your hands feel cold on any of the regions, um, that is the alcohol opening up your pores and soaking in. So you can get a pretty bad burn if that happens. this point, all you need to know, uh, you can either use matches or a Bic lighter. Do not light an alcohol lamp from another alcohol lamp, but you can see we've got a flame here. Right? The, the lighting doesn't show up well, so we'll just shut that off for a second. And you can see how well the alcohol lamp is burning, and that will be hot enough for most of the operations we're going to do. Um, to put out your alcohol lamp, usually it comes with a cap. Mine is so old that the cap has fallen off the chain. But this flame is not very hot, so you can just blot it out with your fingertip. Okay, And then just make sure not to tip it over. Um, one thing to note is that when you have an alcohol lamp, sometimes when you're working, you don't want to work directly above the flame. And so these little bevels are actually intentional so that you can rest your alcohol lamp at an angle so your wax isn't dripping directly into your flames, but in fact, below onto your work surface. The only distinction is this is not as stable um, as when it's in the upright position, but it's designed with these facets for that very um, purpose in mind, okay? So, still burns stably. You've got the 45 degree confirmation, and then you've got the 90 degrees.